Hey everybody, this is Kressel Snapdragon bringing you another Mix It Up Bot tutorial. This one is going to be geared specifically towards making events like announcements and alerts. And then in another video, just after this, I'm going to show you how to make a do-it-yourself activity feed. This is also you don't necessarily have to use Streamlabs and you can stay within the Mix It Up Bot yourself. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So events are just things that automatically are triggered when certain things happen, such as your channel gets followed or you go online. I'm going to show you how to make these, but first what you need to do is go to the sidebar and go to services and you have to connect different accounts with Mixitup. So first of all, you should have already connected your Mixer bot account to the Mixitup bot. You also want to connect Streamlabs or Streamlabs OBS, but they have it just regular Streamlabs here, so we're going to log in. All right, so now I've connected Streamlabs. So if you want to make an alert for Streamlabs donations, you have got to connect it. If you're doing a charity stream, you can also connect Tiltify. Tiltify is a great way to make a charity stream, by the way. So if you want to get Tiltify alerts for whenever somebody donates to the charity, you need to log into Tiltify. But I would also suggest logging into Twitter and Discord. And when you log into Discord, it's automatically going to upload a Mix It Up bot into your Discord server, which is what you want. A few other things that you can connect, you can also connect Spotify if you want to make a song request queue. And you can also connect Stream Avatars, which is super awesome. By the way, if you have not used Stream Avatars yet, I do suggest it. So for now at least, make sure that you connect Streamlabs Twitter and Discord, at least for the time being. So let's go ahead and let's get started. We're going to go to add command for channel stream start, go to advanced command. And what I want to do is that every time I start the stream, I want it to generate an announcement in my Discord. So we're going to go to action, Discord, type will be send message. And then you choose which channel. So right now I'm going to put it in bot spam just so we can test it. And now we're going to create the message. I'm going to use a few special identifiers that you can use as well. I'll make sure to write them in the video in much larger text so that you can see them a little better. But what we're going to say here is, hey everyone. We're going to make it say at everyone. Okay. So here, what I want to do, I have, I'm going live on Mixer today with some, I want Mix It Up to generate the name of the game that I have designated in Mixer itself. And the way to do that is to write the special identifier for it, which is user game. So now, whenever I go live, it's going to automatically generate the name of the game I am playing. I'm going live on Mixer today with some, let's just say IRL for example. Come join me as I. And here what I want to do is generate the title that I have designated for the stream. And then you can do a few other things. You can add the user URL so it's going to automatically generate your Mixer URL. But you can also add a few more things like maybe user, user avatar if you wanted it to generate your avatar. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save it and we can actually test it. So to test a command, you press this button here. Now we're in my discord server. We're under the bot spam channel and I'm going to test this command now. Hey everyone, I'm going live on Mixer today with some IRL. Come join me as I stop singing. Let's have fun and be merry. And then it posted my URL and it also posted my avatar image right here. So you can customize it any way you would like. So now we can also make it post in, for instance, Twitter. If we come back here and go to Twitter in the action bar, make it send a tweet. Here you can't use any at mentions, so I'm going to have to remove that. But we can also have it generate the image for the game we are playing. So where it says tweet image URL, we can write user game image, and that'll generate the image of the game we are playing. Now just to note, I'm getting all of these special identifiers from the reference list. So if you want to add other things and personalize it a little more, just go to the special identifiers reference and look for some of the identifiers that you can potentially use. Okay, so now we can actually test it if we hit the test command. 
This is going to confuse people a little bit. But now it's come up in my Discord. I'm going to actually delete that because it was a test. And it should also have posted in my Twitter. And I'm going to go there and just delete it super quickly <laughs> just in case. Okay, so we tested our command and it works. Awesome. Let's continue. Now we're going to create the channel followed command. So this is going to generate a GIF every time someone follows the channel. So we're going to go to Add Command, Advanced Command, and here what we're going to do is choose Overlay Images and Videos. You should already have what images you want chosen. So we're going to add that. We're going to do Type. We're going to make it an image. And now I'm going to browse through my GIFs for the image that I want it to play whenever somebody follows my channel. So I'm going to play the rain frog here because you guys know I'm a frog lady. The frog biologist. I'm going to have it play for about, let's say, six seconds. You can also give it an entrance animation, so bouncing in, bouncing out is what I like to do, and you can choose its position. So I want it to be up and centered. Okay, and we can actually test it here. There it is. Ooh, we should probably change <laughs> how it looks, move it out just a little more, maybe, maybe 550. That's a little better. Okay, we're going to make its height just a little less, I think. There we go. Perfect. All right. Just to note that if you're going to use these GIF overlays, you need to make sure to go to services and get the mix it up bot overlay from in here and test its connection. So you want to get make a browser source basically within OBS with this link here so that you're able to display the overlay for the Mix It Up bot. We're going to go back to events. All right, so now we have our GIF overlay, but let's say that I want to add text too. All right, so we're going to go to overlay images and video, but this time we're going to add text. And we're going to say welcome and username, that's the special identifier again for the person who triggered the command. So anyone who follows is the person who triggered the command. So it's going to display their username. To the frog pong. Okay. You can change its size. We're going to make it a little bigger, I think. You can make it bold. You can choose its color. I think we're going to go with deep purple. And you can choose its font. And by the way, if you download any new fonts, it's pulling fonts directly from your computer. So if you download other new fonts and put it in here, you will see them. So I have like Pokemon, the Pokemon font. We can, I'm missing up, duration, six seconds. We want to give it the animation, and now we should be able to display it. There it is right there. Let's make it just a little smaller. We're going to make it a different color, maybe light blue instead. There we go. Okay. So now what I want to do is get this text under my picture. And the best way to do that is rather than using the simple screen position, you want to go to percentage. And I'm going to put it at 50 from the left and 50 from the top. We're going to save that. And now it should look perfect. Ta-da! That's the rain frog. It's probably the cutest frog in existence, by the way. Now you can also add sounds if you wanted to. We'll just go back to our command here, but now we're going to go to sound. And you have to download the sound to your computer. So a good place to get sound bites is myinstance.com and Zedge. So I'm going to get the sound bite for the desert rain frog here. Okay, perfect. We're going to download it. You're going to want to pull your sound into Audacity. You want to make it the amount of seconds your alert duration is going to be. So I'm going to make this one about five seconds long. We're going to export it as an MP3. We're going to call it Rain Frog, and I'm going to put it in a designated folder. All right. So now I'm going to go back to my Mix It Up bot. We're going to go to Action, Sound, Browse. Choose Rain Frog. I'm going to set the volume at 50 here so it's not too loud. Save. And now we're going to test it.
Perfect. Okay, so that's what happens when someone follows the channel. Now let's quickly do when someone hosts the channel. So back to advanced command, we're going to do the same thing, overlay images and video. Now I don't think we're going to make a sound for this one. So we're just going to save it. And we're going to say, thank you so much for the host, Crestle Snapdragon. So that's how you make the alerts. And if you're a partner, you can do some for the channel subscriptions, for instance. You can also do some for when sparks and embers are spent. I, I really like that you can make one for if a user is banned. That would be pretty funny, by the way. So we can also create a Streamlabs donation alert. This one's a little bit different, and we have to use special identifiers to do it. So we're going to go to Add Command, Advanced Command, and we're going to create an overlay here. Let's go ahead and choose our image. I think I will choose we're gonna do the heart here we're gonna make it six seconds bounce in bounce out we're gonna put it at the top of the screen let's add some text and it's gonna say thank you so much for the donation of for the donation of donation amount you're awesome and let's just say if if you want to display the message that they wrote you would do donation message here and then if you want an image associated with the donation, you would do donation image. So I will write these special identifiers in the video down at the bottom so that you can see them in bigger text. But what I have here is thank you so much username for the donation of donation amount. You're awesome. And then it displays the donation message and any potential image that might be associated with it. We're going to go back to percentage. I'm going to put it in the center. Again, we're going to do six, bounce in, bounce out, all that's ready. Let's add a sound with it. Jeez, for everyone. And we're going to put it that on 50 and save. Now when it says the required action is missing, it's over here because I don't have a font color. So I'm going to do pink this time. I'm going to put it on Pokemon again, solid. Let's do a shadow, make it bold, and save. And we should be able to test it. Jeez, for everyone. Let me change the GIF here because I don't want it to be to have the black background. So we're going to change the GIF. Maybe maybe we'll drink. Okay. Jeez, for everyone. And if you change the GIF, remember to change the dimensions as well. Perfect. Okay. And so now we made a donation alert. We have our stream channel alert, the follow alert, and the host alert. That's really all I can do right now, but you can do a lot of other things. You can do stream jar donation alert. Again, Tiltify is the charity. You can do stream loots card redemption alerts now. We'll look at a lot of these later. But in the next video, I want to show you how to create a DIY activity feed because a lot of people uh, don't really, I don't really like stream labels. I would rather just create my own activity feed. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that in the next video. Thanks for watching.